Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on my favorite fresh summer scents. This is a very highly requested video and as you guys know I'm not a huge fan of strictly citrusy fragrances. Um, I don't own a lot of them so this video is going to have three citruses and one that is more of a bright floral. So I hope that you guys really enjoy and if you're enjoying my content please make sure to like and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any videos in the future and let's get right on into it. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to start in my number four spot and work my way to my number one. And in our number four spot, we have Chanel number no. five low. So I think that this one would probably be the one that people may like the least out of the four. It's definitely the least safe blind buy, but I think it's really beautiful and it's definitely worth checking out if you're looking for something very fresh and very clean for summer. Kind of like a more modern, airy, citrusy version of the original Chanel number no. five. So this does have a lot of aldehydes in it, which if you don't know what aldehydes smell like, they're kind of like an airy, crisp, almost like a linen-esque type of a smell. They do have a bit of a sharpness to them. Um, they just smell very fresh and very airy. It's difficult to explain. If you have smelt Chanel number no. five, then you know what those aldehydes are like. They're basically what gives Chanel number no. five its signature scent. So in addition to the aldehydes, this also has lemon, ylang ylang, jasmine, musk, mandarin, bergamot, lime, and neroli. But I really don't get a lot of florals from this. I don't really get a lot of the mandarin. It doesn't really have a lot of sweetness. For me, this is mostly just a very citrusy, very aldehydic, light, fresh, and airy fragrance. Very crisp, very clean. It kind of smells the way the bottle looks. It smells just like a breath of fresh air, but very, very citrusy. Um, so yeah, this one is excellent for those really hot summer days. I've told you guys before, sometimes I wear this to the gym. Um, this is just a really easy grab and go when I don't know what to wear, but I want to smell classy and I also want to smell fresh and airy. As you can see, this is not one that I gravitate to a lot. It's probably my least favorite in the bunch that I'm going to show you, which is why it's in our number four spot. Not a safe blind buy, but definitely worth checking out. In our number three spot, we have Tory Burch Love Relentlessly. This is a newer one to my collection, and I had posted a picture on the YouTube community as well as on Instagram, and this was one of the fragrances in the bag that I asked you guys to guess um, what fragrances they were. And a lot of people thought that because of the shape and color of the lid, a lot of people thought this was an MFK fragrance, and a lot of people also thought it was a lady. Lady Million fragrance. You guys, I really apologize if I'm talking quickly or too loud. I have had way too much coffee today and I'm actively trying to slow down my speech because <laughs> I have a tendency to talk very fast. Um, so Tory Burch Love Relentlessly. This is one that I'm pretty sure I've smelled a few years ago. When I was on vacation, I smelled all the Tory Burches and they weren't something that really grabbed my attention. I've never really cared for the Kate Spades, the Michael Kors, the Tory Burches. Um, I just really have never liked any of those fragrances very much. However, the second time around when we sprayed this on paper, I fell in love with it, you guys. It is such a bright, beautiful, bubbly, uplifting, happy smelling floral fragrance. It's a little bit I don't want to say basic, but it is a little bit kind of expected. Like it is a floral fragrance. It's not really special. It's not mind blowing, but it is beautiful you guys. I really really like this. So this has top notes of patchouli, pink pepper, rose, iris, lychee, vetiver, amber, grapefruit, raspberry, lemon, and jasmine. I just took the lid off this to smell it again and you guys it's so beautiful. I don't know why it took me so long to buy this. It's just such a happy but upscale smelling fragrance. To me this does smell expensive. It smells classy. Um, it smells like a designer fragrance. It smells just very classy, that's all I can say. Um, and this is a 30 ml bottle. I'm kind of regretting not buying a larger bottle. Something about it takes me back to being at a luxury hotel. It takes me back to luxury shopping, um, luxury high-end stores, like think the Vegas Strip, walking into all of the higher-end stores. That's what this reminds me of. I'm not really sure why. Maybe I'm remembering the first time I smelt it, or maybe it's the flowers, or how beautiful the bottle is. I'm not really sure, but something about it definitely takes me back and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I definitely suggest this one if you are looking for something a little bit more bright floral and not quite as citrusy. This does, like I say, have a little bit of lemon in it, does have a little bit of pink pepper um, and some raspberry, but mostly it's just a very bright, happy floral fragrance. And to me, you guys, I was really surprised when I saw the notes. I don't get a lot of those notes in here. I really was surprised to see that patchouli was one of the top notes. I thought that this would be primarily a white floral with a little bit of a yellow floral kind of a twist to it. It has 
almost a little bit of a tropical kind of a vacation, almost like a beachy kind of a vibe. And it also has this warmth to it because of that amber. And you know how sometimes you spray a floral fragrance and it dries down to something kind of dirty smelling, like not very good on your skin. This smells better on my skin than it does on paper. It smells better on my skin than it does in the air. It's incredible. Something about it just mixes really well with my skin chemistry and smells even sweeter and even more floral on my skin. Okay, so in our number two spot, we have the most mature smelling out of the four, but this is nonetheless an absolutely gorgeous fragrance. And I think that even though it has kind of a mature vibe, I think that anybody of any age from about 25, 30 and up could definitely get away with this fragrance. So this is Chanel Gabrielle or Gabrielle. This is an absolutely gorgeous, kind of a powdery floral fragrance, but it also has a lot of lemon in it, so that makes it very citrusy. And when you first spray this, it definitely does have kind of a crisp, fresh, citrusy opening. It also has notes of orange blossom, jasmine, ylang-ylang, mandarin, tuberose, black currant, musk, sandalwood, lily of the valley, pear, cashmere, and pink pepper, and orris. And that is all of the notes that are in here. So it is fairly complex. When I first smelt it, I couldn't really tell if it was a citrus or if it was just a floral. It's just, it's kind of a mishmash, but it's absolutely gorgeous, you guys. It smells so classy. It has this absolutely timeless, classic Chanel elegance about it. And I will say that when I first smelt this, which was a few months ago, I wasn't crazy about it. I didn't really care for this one and I didn't care for the Essence either. I know a lot of people have suggested that I try the Gabrielle Essence and I really don't care for it. To me, it's a little bit generic. No offense to people who like it, it's a beautiful fragrance, but to me, it just doesn't have that like unique Chanel vibe to it. Whereas this one definitely has that Chanel vibe. When you spray this on your skin, it first starts off kind of almost like a sharp powdery citrus, but really beautiful. And then it very quickly dries down to this absolutely gorgeous, close to the skin, kind of a floral scent. And it's very hard for me to describe. It's got a ton going on, but it's really, really beautiful, super classy. So if you haven't smelled Chanel Gabrielle, definitely give it a shot. Um, I wouldn't say go by what it smells like on the paper. I would say spray it on your skin and give it a few minutes and come back and smell and see how you you like it. I really, really like it. For me, this I think would be kind of a very easy go-to when I want to smell fresh and citrusy and summery, but also just very timeless and very elegant. And in the number one spot, we have Chanel Chance Eau Vive, and this is also new to my collection. This one out of the four that I'm showing you is definitely the most fruity, the most vibrant, the most uplifting. Um, where the Tory Birch was kind of an uplifting floral, this is like an uplifting citrus. So this has a lot of blood orange, it has a lot of grapefruit, it has citruses, jasmine, musk, vetiver, cedar, and iris. So not a really complex fragrance. What I mostly get out of this one is a lot of grapefruit. I absolutely love this fragrance, you guys. It's incredibly citrusy and very bright and very fresh and uplifting. It also has that Chanel class. When it dries down, it still has the same vibes as as you would get with the original Chanel Chance. Um, it's not just a citrusy fresh perfume. I'm not big into super citrusy perfumes. I'm actually quite surprised that I even liked this one. And I was debating between this one and the Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche. I actually really liked the Eau Fraiche, um, but to me the Eau Fraiche was almost a little bit too sharp. It almost had kind of like a Windexy vibe to me, like almost like a cleaner kind of a vibe, which I've heard other people have said about it before as well. But I do think that the Eau probably wears better um, than it smells on paper. And unfortunately, I didn't spray it on my skin. I would like to go back and smell the Eau on my skin at some point in the future, but I absolutely loved this, you guys. On the skin, this almost becomes a little bit sweet. It becomes a little bit musky, but it kind of retains that grapefruit and that orangey smell all throughout the day. Like you never really lose that citrus, which is really surprising because with a lot of citrus perfumes, they're generally top notes and they often will disappear quite quickly. You keep getting those little hints of citrus all throughout the day. Oh, I just smelt this one again, you guys, and oh my gosh, it just, it's beautiful. Like when you wear this, I wore it out for coffee the other night and I just loved it. I just couldn't get enough. It smells so good. Can't recommend it enough. I know that a lot of other YouTubers have talked about this. Um, Sheree, I believe this was on her list of her, some of her top favorite fresh scents as well. It's just really an incredible fragrance. So definitely give this one a shot if you have not. That is Chanel Chance Eau Vive.
So you guys, that's it for my top four fresh fragrances for summer. Just to kind of recap, we have the most floral one being the Tory Burch Love Relentlessly. We have the most mature one, the most powdery floral being the Gabrielle. And we have the most bubbly, kind of fruity one as the Chanel Chanso Vive. And then we have probably the most crisp, the most sharp, the most edgy, maybe a little bit of a acquired taste, which is the Chanel Number no. 5 Low. So let me know down below if you guys agree with my choices, if you have any of these. Um, what you think about them. I'm really looking forward to having some good conversations. And also, please let me know in the comments below what is your favorite fresh summer scent. Um, I'm really interested to know. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Do head over and follow me on Instagram if you haven't already because I share a lot of things on there that I don't on YouTube. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye for now.